up everybody anybody in here let's see Streaming, you guys? See anyone? Are you? Stream. Hmm. All right. Well, if you're in here and you're chatting and I don't see you, just bear with me a second. Oh, there you go. All right. Cool. Strudel Baker. What is up? All right. Cool. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, so I am guessing... There you go. Hey, how you doing? All right, so for whatever reason, it just says zero people in the room for me. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Mike Thompson. Glad you could join me. Uh, I'm not going to waste any time today, so uh, let's get into it. On my screen is the uh, the latest piece that I finished. You guys might have seen it on, uh, like, floating around the internet. But um, this is the piece that I started in here, that Iron Fist from you know, a couple months ago. Uh, first one, new comment. Yeah, uh, let's see. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, so um, this is from the Iron Fist I started a couple months ago. I got some UVs on it, threw it in a marmoset, and did some stuff with uh, like illuminations, and illumination and things like that. And, um, and so it came out all right. But, what's up, Alex? Alexis? Um, if you were here last time, you know I was working on Venom, and I have this dope uh, Shane Olsen Disney Infinity style Venom here because this is the pose that I'm gonna go for on mine, right? But this is gonna be realistic, so I'm not gonna copy Shane's style, but I, I love that pose, so that's the pose I'm going to use. Spoiler alert, so let's move this over to the side. Where can we see your Iron Fist work? It's on ArtStation, on my ArtStation, um, my T Artworks. Uh, do I have that in the thing up top? Everything is my T Artworks for me, so yeah, on my ArtStation. ArtStation, that didn't really help, but anyway, that's what it is. All right, so if we go back to my Photoshop here, you can see that this is kind of where I left off last time. I tried to get the majority of him done in, um, what is it called, um, uh, ZBrush Core. So I got quite a bit done using just Sculptress. And um, in here I went in and did some extra kind of like anatomy stuff to try to make it a little better than it was before. But you can see right now he's kind of got an alien head uh, so, mm, not so good. Um, if we go over to, uh, let's hide Photoshop and go to my ZBrush, which for some reason is only on the screen. Oh, come on, dude. Word. Let's see. Hold on a second. Make that small. Make that big. All right, cool. So this is kind of what I was just showing you. This is where I dropped off. He's totally got the alien head right now. Um, but uh, I did a little bit of work on this uh, while you guys weren't here. And uh, what's up, Inspire3D? Uh, so now it's looking a little more like, 
uh, ba, 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 looking a little more like this. All right, now it's now it's venom. It's not an alien head. This is what I did last night because I was like really stressed to come in here and be, you know, um, look garbage with my guy. So I want to start from a decent point. So that's what we're doing today. Got my venom. Um, we're gonna pretend that that awful Eminem Venom song doesn't exist. However, that's been stuck in my head for the past two days. Um, and so now we'll go back over to here and you can see that I started, let's cut off the color so you can see it. You can see that I started to take that original body you saw up here and um, kind of slice off the arm, slice off the head. The way I made his, uh, the detail the inside of his mouth and everything is I kind of sliced that all into bits. So if we come over here and take a look at it, let's hide the body and the arms. We come up here and you can see that if I solo this out, this is how I was able to, I've just been using uh, Sculptors Pro by the way, because I love it so much. Uh, and I haven't used it in a while. So let's just turn these things on one at a time, but like, jaw and then the gums okay um gums and then the teeth the teeth uh there they are um, top teeth top gums um, uh, that's the eye like the, the actual eye part and there's the head and then you add the little kind of tendons on the side here. These guys, which are a little out of place. I want to move those a little bit. So that's those guys. And then the tongue. And then it's a venom, right? So now we got that. And uh, just a little poly painting. And we're good to go. So what I'm gonna do first of all is just get the lighting so I can see what's going on in here because right now it's kind of hard to see. Turn off that rim light and then turn up, turn up this light so you can kind of just see what's happening here. All right, but it's way easier to sculpt this guy when I just slice it all apart. And then what I would do too is when I print this, um, uh, prefer in the <laughs> It's good as long as you pretend Eminem isn't the one singing it. Yeah, yeah, okay, all right, I'll give you that. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna keep going. Uh, the jaw on him is real soft right now. There's no real detail on it. So I'm going to uh, do a little bit more on that and then I'm gonna get back into the body because right now it's just sliced apart and the pieces are, they're just kind of out there dangling. All right, so let's turn it back on again. Started doing a little bit of twisting and posing with this and re-sculpting, same with the arms. So you can see he doesn't even have an elbow over here. So let's actually, I'm gonna do that right now. Everything is poly grouped too, so I can hide pieces and bring them back. Um, so let's solo this out. And I'm just bouncing back and forth between the Sculptors Pro. I don't know what's up with that one with that one cut, but the audio on it is terrible. All right. So I don't know if you guys have started following me on YouTube, but uh, I started streaming weekly, um, and uh, and I'm working on a tribute piece for um, for MF Doom. So I even went out and got a little something. Oh, little MF Doom, you guys. So uh, I got a couple of uh, live streams on my site, uh, my YouTube site. If you're not subscribed, I will be on later on tonight. That's why I am going through this whole spiel. And I would love for you to join me. A little different vibe. 
same kind of talking through what I'm doing, but in there I can jump around to different applications and, you know, just kind of chill out. And my, my, uh, my friend Chuck Taylor, who's a, a rapper, uh, and uh, Super Dave West are hooking me up with music too. Uh, Dave is a producer for groups like De La Soul. So um, it's pretty sweet. But yeah, that's on my YouTube, which is at the top of the thing there. Let's bring it back on. And because I'm going to have to re-sculpt all this, I don't really care if it gets too screwed up. You guys let me know if the audio levels are too high or something, and I'll fix them. If you can't hear me. So the reason I did it this way, because I don't normally pose this way, I usually just go into Transpose Master, but it's uh, it's pretty extreme, and also I wanted to do something different with this, right? I didn't want to work the way I've been working in all my other videos, which is, you know, keeping my mesh low and, uh, you know, posing in Transpose Master and all that, uh, you know, so it's a little something different. Are you going to use this model for an illustration? Yeah, you know what? Um, it's funny because the title of my thing is uh, <laughs> Illustration by Way of Sculpture. And I haven't done that in a minute. I think the last thing I used that for was I did a... Um, I did a Venom pool that was based on the old Z-Sphere challenge, which is kind of what set this whole thing off, right? So if I turn this... Let's turn all this off real quick come up here. This was the original piece that uh, when ZBrush first introduced Sculptors Pro into it, um, I did this as my sphere challenge. So this started off as just a sphere and I went in and this is no additional sub tools or anything, no going in and, and messing with the topology. So if I go to the um, poly frame, you can see I just would pull out a part um, you know, uh, add some more uh, geometry to it and then just sculpt. So that's what that piece was. But I used this piece for a, um, what's it called? Uh, Venom Pool illustration. Uh, I had to do something for Corel. Where are my arms? There they are. So, yes, I will be. Miguel, awesome, thank you. How to improve sculpting skills. Get your 10,000 hours, do it every day, you know? I'm sculpting all the time now. Uh, I'm fortunate in that I did, uh, you know, I started working with some sculpting companies, like um, sculptor companies, rather, like Sideshow. And, um, and so I get to get paid to do what I love again, you know, I've been illustrating for a long time, um, a really long time, but uh, now I get to sculpt, which I, I also enjoy. I get paid. Where am I from? All right, so I actually was born in Germany. I'm like uh, half German. And, uh, but I lived in the Washington DC area for most of my life. Um, oh, you know what? I can't have the, can't have that all the way back there anymore. All right, so let's do this. Look at a little reference, never hurts. In fact, I'm going to, uh, 
my other board and check out some reference. Maybe get this guy too. I don't know if any of you guys have the anatomy tools statues, but uh, this arm has kind of uh, had a few mishaps. I gotta, I gotta glue some fingers back on here. They never want to stay, which kind of sucks. So as much as I do like doing the stylized stuff like that Iron Fist and the Luke Cage I was working on, it feels good to go back to realism. Like I, I'm not gonna lie, uh, I'm a, <laughs> I'm a fan of sculpting realistic looking stuff. So back in the game, baby. This arm got kind of soft when I was cleaning it up. So I went on art station yesterday just to do some research on Venom, see if I could find some cool 2D stuff for poses. And that's actually when I found Shane's piece. But uh, I gotta say, I think I am the very last person to do Venom. I did a Carnage, I don't know if you guys saw it. Let me see if I can find that real quick. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so I did this a while ago, and I want this Venom to have the same type of uh, level of finish. Um, this was uh, this was actually on my um, on my YouTube. That's why it's got the big banner on there. But um, yeah, so I want them to be able to be like companion pieces where I can kind of put them towards each other.
Xbox One. What's up? What's up? What's going on? Um, from audio is okay, no problem. IR scopes, what's going on? Hey, dude, very good work. Thank you, thank you. Uh, tell me you did ZBrush. No, so I learned ZBrush from uh, basically a whole lot of YouTube and books um, and hanging out with people who were already sculpting. Um, so, yeah, uh, that's pretty much how I picked it up. But I used to love to, you know, pick up stuff from Amazon as far as like these books are concerned. And then the, uh, you know, just talking to people who do it is, is how I started picking it up, really. Ah, uh, I don't have the Sculptures Pro on. I can tell. Yeah, it's turned off. So to control what I'm doing here, mostly I'm, uh, mostly, shout out to Aliens, one of the best movies ever. Um, uh, mostly what I'm doing is uh, sculpting with Sculptors Pro turned off, and then I turn it on to either add geometry or, or fix areas of the mesh that get kind of wrinkled up. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have to seriously overhaul this pack because it's gonna be stretched. And right now I have it in like a relaxed mode. Both of them were really where it's down. So he's got his arms back, so it's gonna be up and over. Uh, so let's see if I can find something. Yeah, more like that. Love the drawing sculpting ZBrush so I can find the past. Absolutely, absolutely. Did you build your computer? It is somewhere. No, I built it. Uh, I built my computer. I used to be on a Mac. Now I'm on a PC, and this is actually the second PC that I built. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm also little sneaky sneak preview. Uh, I picked up um, HP and Nvidia as like partners, so I'm getting something in the mail tomorrow which is supposed to change the game. So I'll be doing a review on that soon. But uh, it's a laptop that is supposed to be as powerful as a desktop with a really tiny form factor. So I'm excited about that. Super excited. All right, the more I sculpt realistic stuff, the more I love it. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, your brush looks different, usually circular. Let's... Yeah, you know what? I don't know what that is. For some reason, my brush gets real messed up on these streams and that's on my personal streams too i don't know why it turns into like it looks like almost like a messed up barcode or something but um no it's i assure you it's round awesome work my big fan all your work someday i hope nice living in puerto rico okay well um little uh little known fact i am and uh, I mean, I teach a class for concept art, but I'm in a bit of a uh, slump while my clients get their um, their first quarter budgets together. So I've been doing a little tutoring on the side. So anybody who's interested, hit me up. Shameless plug, and uh, maybe we can do some stuff. Do a little something. It's going to This is one of those things where I think I mentioned it before, but I don't like to do a lot of detail before I get it imposed. And this is why I break symmetry early because uh, Because you know you sculpt all this anatomy and then you have to re-sculpt it anyway, you know. That's kind of a bummer.
been safe in a while. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. It's auto save. Okay. Uh -uh. Mostly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Doom is later on today. So I'm going to be strewing, streaming my personal stream tonight. I will be back on back on Doom. I don't know how he did this, right? Because I try to put my glasses on through the mask. It's a wash, so um, can't do it. Also, little known fact, I ordered this and it came from somewhere else. And uh, it's got black stuff on the inside that gets on my face when I put it on. It's on my hands now. So that's why I will be displaying that mask instead of actually wearing it. Hang art. What's up? Um, bah, bah, bah. How are you doing this? Let's see. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know. Just uh just trying to figure it out. Yeah, I love uh oh, I wanna do that. I love uh aliens and I am uh I'm a big fan of Newt, so I went back in and watched. Um, I actually looked at what she looks like now. It's funny looking at these child stars that grow up and they just look like regular people now. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Love that scene. Why don't you put her in charge? So had I um, done this the way I normally do it, uh, all of this would have had to be like completely re-sculpted because it just would have gotten really kind of squished up. Um, the other thing that's good about this now is like I can go and hide this part and grab my bicep and kind of compress it. And I don't have to worry about messing up the forearm. Which is nice. And I know it looks wacky right now, don't worry about it. Kind of jumped the gun with the veins. But all this is basically gonna get it's all gonna get smoothed out and redone anyway, you know.
I need to do any major like plane changes. I usually just grab the H polish and hit it up. It's faster. And then I can fix it after the fact. Let's turn this back on. I should probably I should probably keep that head on just to keep people's interest that pop in so they don't leave. Let's do that. I'll save this because nobody wants to see like just a big beefcake dude without the head. Um actually let's do this look. Make a folder and start grouping this stuff here. That would be helpful. I'll probably add some more teeth shortly. Let's turn off the arms and the body for now. Um, this is the, what am I calling these? Oh no, this is what I need to name. What do I call this? Uh, cheek? How about cheeks? Cheek stuff. There you go. Nailed it. This is gums bottom. No, that's the mouth bottom. So I can't tell how many people in the room. If you guys can see it, do me a favor and just type it in the chat, please. Uh, it looks like zero people, and that, that makes me nervous. I know there's not zero people, but you know. Let's call this uh, jaw. Jaw and tongue. Um, all right. 
close that. So let's do this. Cut off color. back to my body. Let's rename this one. Or so. And rename this arms. Let's see what's going on in the chat. Could I give a book info? Uh... Recommendation, absolutely. Without a doubt, I can give you a few. How many you need? Clear my desk here. All right, so let's switch to camera. Okay, so these two books are fantastic. Strength training, anatomy, and men's and women. I don't know why this doesn't say men's and this one say women's, but apparently this is just the man's world, you guys, apparently. Um, what, this is great for me because, right, I can see how the, uh, the muscles stretch um, for these different movements, and it has it broken down uh, with medical-style illustrations for all of the poses. So I'm actually going to use this now. I'm glad you asked for that because this is going to help me right now. Women's is great too. Same deal. Um, but, uh, you know, women aren't as bulky. And so you can see the uh, definition of the muscles a little better. Right? Um, fantastic. So this is Frederick de, de Lavier, I think. You guys figure that out. Friedrich de Lavier. I got those on Amazon. This is a great book, Anatomy for Artists. This is amazing. And uh, just type in Anatomy for Artists, but it's dope because it has like overlays. Right? It's pretty sweet. And it has a breakdown of all the bones and you know, muscle, then it has poses. So this was by Sarah Simblet. What you need? I got more. What about this one? This is the one book you need to have if you're a sculptor. Um, it's got everything in it and uh, it's pretty sweet. So uh, not that thing for a uh, it's my mail. Don't be looking at that. All right, so like hands, perfect. I'm gonna have to do these hands in a minute and it shows you how to break them down by like geometric forms. Um, so I'll be doing that. This is fantastic. I love this reference. I'm gonna be using this shortly for his legs, but Anatomy for Sculptors. And I'm not even gonna try to butcher that name. The oldest Zarins maybe. And Sand is kind of, I'm imagining that these guys are in a different country because it's not like John Smith, um, but yeah, get that book. If you don't get any of the other books, get this book, all right? And then things like this are great too. Um, these little, these things are fantastic to have. Okay, I got those from 3D Total, and you can see I started painting this one. Ooh, what you know about it? The muscles look muscly now, y'all. All right, so. And you look at enough of that and you'll be doing this in no time. All right, my Hulk guy. 
which many people have said the arms and the hands are too big. All right, personal stream, let's go back. So that's in books. Some issue with the stream you got me. Yeah, um, IR Sculpts, tell me what you did to fix it. Do me a favor and DM me that, please, because it's really annoying. How you fix the cursor. Everyone who has ZBrush has that cur Oh, really? Well, I didn't know that. I thought it was just me. I'm not talking to you, Google. Get out of my business. What are we going to learn today? We're going to learn a little, little anatomy, a little venom. Um... Did I mention I don't like the Eminem song? Because I don't. It's just a personal preference. All right. Um, so now let's... This is the pose I'm going for, by the way. Shane Olsen. Uh, very... I love this piece, man. I love this piece so much. Shane is a beast. So let's move that back over there. Um, any of his students in here say what's up, by the way. I use him. So this is the part that's kind of like relaxing for me. I love just kind of going in and working the uh, working these forms until I figure them out and get them right. A little sketchy for a while, but it's okay. Only thing about pure F, it's always over top of what I need at the moment. Every time. I 
And all I'm doing basically is just switching back between clay buildup, smooth, and uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, and uh, move tool. And then just going kind of redefining some of the forms with the uh, with the uh, H polish. Do you know what I'm saying? I've been watching a lot of South Park on my second screen while I work lately, so there's a particular episode with Butters, which is pretty sweet. Um, it's stuck in my head. a lot of stuff. All right, what, let's see, issue stream now, da, 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 stream. Can I rap? Absolutely not. I can now rap. I was born with a rhythmic deficiency that uh, unfortunately you just reminded me of it and now I feel bad. That's it for the day, you guys. <clears throat> no, I can't rap. That's why I like to draw stuff. Smooth is awesome. Yeah. How to get strong mask on surface with no opacity or softness. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Um, I'm using the mask lasso instead of uh, the mask um, pin. So if I just draw a line and let go, I get it. And if I want to soften that, I just hold down... Um, my uh my alt button and click on it on the mask i like to flip it back and forth and then i can get a really nice smooth uh transition alter control i i have i'm not gonna lie when i switched over from mac i move my buttons on my uh keyboard because I kept hitting the wrong things. And so now I flipped control and alt. So that might be backwards. It might be control and not alt. Yeah, so I haven't done Bruce Lee yet, but I did use him as reference to do this guy. Um, I got pictures of Bruce Lee. Absolutely. One day I'll do him. I'm a fan. Where's this dude?
Sorry, Div Naf, what's up? Oh, the cheek stuff. Wow, I'm way behind. All right. Hey, I am here. I'm loving this head. Thank you. 51. Uh, 51. What you talking about, Willis? <clears throat> What's up, Insane Pixel? Jay Hay. Oh, 51 people in the room. Okay. All right, let me make these teeth. Uh, those teeth started as uh, just spheres, and I just stretched them out. Uh, just stretched them out with the move tool. So this is tricky. This is one of those things where if I, if you can get it close, but just like, uh, just wrong enough for people to notice that the arm really doesn't look quite right. So uh, I just want to move it around until it's close enough here. I think that's, I think that's not too shabby. Again, if this stuff gets wobbly, it doesn't really matter to me because I'm going to be sculpting it all kind of over again anyway.
I'm using Shane's guy as the posing reference. So, the legs are what the kids would call a hot mess, but I've been putting those off long enough, so let's kind of dig into the legs. Don't laugh, the legs are, legs are not good, you guys, but it's okay. We'll figure it out. Also, I think I want to make the legs smaller. Uh, let's see. And, uh, all right. So what I've been doing is kind of chopping off parts and then closing holes. So that's cool for that. I'm gonna do that for the torso. All right, maybe one leg at a time. Uh, auto group this. Auto group. That word. Okay. something that makes sense as far as this is concerned. Oh, I should have known this with the... Alright, wait a minute. Let's do this. group okay um oh all right i wanna split uh split hidden and then close the hole on this okay do the same deal for this split hidden close hole really don't need both of these legs so I'm gonna delete this one yep and then I'm going to mirror and weld this oh snap not like that I'm not I have L symmetry turned on all right mirror and weld okay so now I can hide this part in auto group and 
and then hide that part and auto group. Okay. This is what I want. Yeah, a specific course, I don't know. I would say um, hop on YouTube. There's a lot of free content there. Look at the um, ZBrush Live videos. Um, there's a ton of content here, a lot of presenters. I mean, I personally have like 40 some videos at three hours each for zero dollars and zero cents. So um, check those out. Um, ZBrush Classrooms is great because you can get a lot of um, stuff to get you up to speed as far as the the UI layout and what tools do what. So check that out too on the Pixelogic page. But yeah, you're good to go. Yeah, definitely get that book. Huh, that cloth. You talking about the cloth on this dude? Yeah, we keep it classy up in here. I don't need to see all that. Um, twisted strings, because I was using string now. Oh, really? Is that what uh, got rid of it? Using stream elements? Huh. Okay. BBCW. Uh, oh cool, you're in Shane's class, nice. What is up, Inspire 3D's in Shane's class? Yeah, um, the Grail book is probably the anatomy for sculptors, I would say. Butters. <laughs> yeah, butters. Uh, key shot render. Uh, you talking about this dude? No, this is not Keyshot. This is a Marmoset tool bag. It's playing around in there in the old tool bag. I do have Keyshot renders, but I think that this one is uh, is better, actually. One by one. So one of them is cool. Pose is stunning. Pose is not mine. I'm stealing the pose from Shane Olsen, so thank you very much. I am a good thief. Love your music. Nice. Thank you. Sculptors. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. Thanks, IR Sculpts. Okay, cool. I'm caught up, you guys. Now I can get back to the business at hand. So before I mess with these legs, let's do... Let's do this. Turn off the legs, turn on the body, arms. This way, he's twisted this way, his body's twisted this way. Okay, so the legs want to follow the torso.
don't know if you noticed, but when I want to maintain detail, I switch to a smaller brush in Sculptures Pro when I'm smoothing. Uh, if I want to like quickly just knock down forms, I make it larger. And you can see it kind of decimates it at a larger, uh, a larger scale there. So. So I get way more interested in a sculpt when I break symmetry. So now I'm now I'm feeling it.
All right, so uh, I want to make sure I have back face masking turned on because I have some thin geometry up here at the top. And that causes it to pull through from the other side when I sculpt on the bottom. If that happens to you and you're new to ZBrush, that is why. If you have back face masking turned on, you can't sculpt uh, with Sculptress. So also watch out for that if that's a problem and it won't let you sculpt using Sculptress. Uh, just turn off back face masking. So again, all this, I mean, not all of it, but a lot of this anatomy is going to have to be redone. This leg is what it is. Try not to get too attached to anything when I'm sculpting. There's just a good chance I'm gonna redo it anyway. When I was working on my Hulk, I redid it so many times. It's crazy. save too. How about that? Let's see. Do you have everything inside a ZBrush? Yes. Yes, Jay Hay. I see you asked several times. What's up, Mari Cat? Thank you. Uh, wow, thank you, thank you. Okay, I'll check it out. You should DM me because um, when I get out of here, the chat disappears and uh, I don't want you to think that I blew you off. So just uh, if you guys aren't and you're feeling generous, give me a shout or a follow on uh, Instagram um, and then just DM me in there. So I can get these planes back. I'm using my trusty H polish. I really like this workflow. It uh, it works well for me.
as you can see it's a whole lot of back and forth so eventually I land on the right thing Uh, Big Tower, can you explain a little bit about the distribution of UI buttons? Yeah, sure. So, um, I went in and changed my UI because these are a lot of the things that I use all the time. Um, I'm constantly, constantly switching back between Sculptress. Um, I am 
doing things like framing the mesh in order to um, to use that to make uh, straps and seams on my clothing. Because so I'll frame the mesh and then lay down curve tube straps or whatever. Um, these are the brushes that I use most. My lighting is down here at the bottom because I love to turn on the lighting and mess with that. So if I were to switch back to turn on everything, um, well, yeah, everything. All right, so if I turn on everything here, oh man, I mean, do that. Yeah, so if I turn on everything here and then I, uh, Turn on my color. For whatever reason, I lost some color here. Let's go back and add that color, fill object. And here, color, fill object. And here. All right, so now you can see when I fill the object with color, it's kind of hard to see what's going on. So. I can jump down to my light, which is right here. Turn up the intensity some. Move that in like a dramatic place and then add my rim light. Put that on the side that I want. And maybe boost that up a bit. So now it, you know, it's easier to see it and see the detail. All right? Uh, well, that button needs work, y'all. Anyway. Um, so yeah, that's why I have a lot of the things um, where I have them on the UI. Just stuff I use the most. Definitely easier to see it without the color or the yeah. And if I turn down the light again. this one.
Oh, that's a bit much. Yeah, if anybody talks to Shane, let him know I uh, was using his reference um, for the pose on this. Maybe I'll reach out to him later on today. I think it'd be a nice little uh, Marvel team up to show a, a really cool stylized version and then, you know, a more realistic version based off the same pose. It'd be kind of dope. Thanks, Chimera King. Yeah, forearms are just a whole bunch of... It's a whole bunch of math. Look at all those muscle groups. It's crazy. It helps having something in front of you. Like, back before I actually had statues on my desk, it was a wrap. I could not figure them out to save my life.
right, let's figure out the rest of this leg. Emil all night creative what's up big tower 199 thanks my that's awesome thank you thank you all the muscles with basic print is Olsen style for static post sculpt I don't have the patience for that um so I generally just kind of do what I'm doing here but I'll start off like I said I'll start off with it in uh, in symmetry and then uh, get as much done as I can and then break symmetry and start to start to do my thing so that's the name of that too Let's take these. said don't get too attached to anything when you're doing it this way
Hey, thanks, man. Alright, so with Sculptors Pro, like the cleanup on this is way easier than if I was worried about the geometry. And what I'll probably end up doing on this, I mean not probably, what I will end up doing on this is um, I will uh, I'll Z remesh it after I get something that I like and then take it down as low as possible and get some nice clean UVs and then I can take it into like Substance Painter or something if I want to armor set and do like a dope render. Some legs on here. Uh, let me open another one.
Seriously? Hmm. Wait a minute, I know for a fact I got the back of some legs on here somewhere.
Yeah, so today I'm a little more quiet than normal, but it, this is like, it's not a whole lot to explain here. I'm just kind of sculpting what I see, you know what I mean? This is what I was doing last night when I was working on his face. It's just, I think I had on either some hip hop music in the background or South Park, one or the other. And I was just chilling and sculpting. Oh, um, if you popped in late, do me a favor and give me a follow on my YouTube. I'll be streaming again tonight uh, at probably around 9 or 10 East Coast time. Um, and working on some MF Doom. So if you managed to get in last week, you saw how far I got. Um, I started posing him. So he is in what's going to be his throne in sitting on his throne and it's uh the idea for this piece is you know obviously a tribute to the rapper mf doom but also um it's like a mf doom versus dr doom so spoiler spoiler alert mf doom wins so he's on the throne and uh and i'll be working on that I can show you guys what, what I got to before I get out of here. A little progress. Uh oh, too much. It's too much. Again, just switching between basically play build up, smooth, and uh, age polish for all of this. That's what the entire thing is going to be until it comes time for me to uh, ZV mesh it. Just kind of building up the forms with the play build up. using the move brush to kind of get them exactly where I want them and H polish to get rid of whatever lumps or you know stuff like that that I see also switching to Sculptress Pro for adding some of the mass but mostly mostly to uh, to smooth mostly
Fire Sculpt is better than Dynamesh. Um, I mean, I like Sculptures Pro because I can control it better. And with Dynamesh, I have an issue where, I mean, maybe my settings are wrong, but unless I have it on an like insanely high resolution, um, uh, I lose the detail and I have to project it back. And so it just takes me longer to keep going back and forth and things of that nature. So, uh, so I like to use the Sculptures Pro. Also, now you can, like you can hide geometry and use it too, which is pretty sweet. I was doing a lot of that for his uh, head last night. Well, I said I was gonna work on that jaw some more, but I didn't. Okay, I know I have four. All right. Don't make fun of me. I'm gonna use my own sculpt for the calves. That's right, I'm doing it. I always forget though. Curves down. That's right. All right. So 
This is one of those instances where had I done this detailing to the legs before I started posing, then I could just use it twice. But you know what though? Actually, take that back. Now that it's cut into pieces, I can just duplicate this after I get this calf right and then just use it again. So I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Just thinking out loud, you guys. Shane's picture. Yeah, that logo is dope. That's uh, that was done by a friend of mine. Um, uh, oh my gosh, I'm getting old. Um, that was uh. I'll figure it out and get back here to you. Sorry. <laughs> hey, what's up? Ten of slug, better late than never. What's up? Come tonight and I uh and I won't hold it against you for tapping in at uh forty five minutes till sign off. roughing some hands before I get out of here too so maybe I should hurry up and get the uh oh hurry up and get the other leg in and then mess around with getting them right later So I want to twist that foot.
do a render right quick. So I never have my perspective up this high either. Let me turn this down. Thanks, Mike Mike. Comfort zone and sculpt completely different things. Yeah, yeah. I um I mean well this is different for me, right? I don't normally sculpt uh using uh sculptures pro. So it's a little different. But um Oh it is set to my focal length. Alright, that's cool. Um so that's a little different. But uh yeah, absolutely I have a comfort zone. Right. I think switching to this style is probably the most outrageous that I've gotten. A little more stylized kind of a look. But, um, you know. You know, I do what I do, homie. Uh, let's see. Do I have a Twitch stream? Yeah, I do. Um, but I noticed that I get a better response on my YouTube. But yeah, my, my Twitch is uh, it's at the top. It's a uh, Mike T two K, but yeah, I've been doing mostly YouTube lately. All right, let's get a render of this right quick here. I think I want to paint that spider on there too. How much time do I have? I can't do it all. All right, you guys, let me know. Paint the spider on his chest, or figure out his hands. I mean, the spider on the chest isn't going to take that long. All right, spider on the chest and legs or hands, period. What anatomy part do you dislike the most? For me, it's always the toes. Really? Toes? I love getting better, but man, I always give me problems. Yeah, so toes. I only really had to do toes with the Hulk. And that was, uh, I don't know, I had a good time with the feet on that one. You know, that was fun. I like toes. Uh, hands probably take me the longest. I don't know why I just don't do one hand and then use it for everything. I gotta do that. But uh, yeah, I don't mind toes. Hardest part for me, probably pecs. I always spend the longest on pecs. So, all right, that's that. Let's maybe do a couple screen grabs. So I'm gonna move this and I will um, do, let's see, layer. Do this now instead of rushing at the end. Bake, layer, create, draw another one. T, pick a different angle. Maybe I get rid of the legs on this one since it looks weird with one leg. Lose the legs. You know what? I'm gonna turn legs on. Color fill. All right, and render this. Sweet, got a little something delivered. And this is just how I do a lot of my quick um, 
a lot of my quick uh like things that i throw up on facebook all right so then i'll make it actual and export export let's call this venom 3. go back to photoshop Oh, did Photoshop close out on me? Huh, maybe it did. Oh no, there it is. All right, so like I said, if you didn't see, this piece is gonna be the companion piece to this carnage. So I'll be making UVs and taking it into Substance Painter and then I can kind of have them facing off. Uh, that's the idea. And uh, bu 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 where is? The Venom. I know I have a Venom open somewhere. Here it is. All right, so there's that. File, open, Venom 3. Okay. Set this up to a tolerance of 32 and select the background. Select similar. Flip this and make a mask. Oh, mask the other way. All right, it's a little hard to see, so level. So when I'm doing my stuff for Hasbro, like the G.I. Joe guys, um, sometimes what will happen is I'll take a model and kind of approximate what the guy is going to look like, figure out the pose, and then I'll do the same thing, right? So like I'll come in and uh, do a render, and, um, and then I can use that either for reference or I can do a paint over, whatever time I have, so... With Hasbro, I usually get like a really short lead time, but it's great because I can get all of my detail and, uh, you know, and then kind of see what, uh, damn, come on, man. And, okay. Yeah, so I can get all my detail and then, um, and then, you know, it's much easier to paint than trying to figure it out from nothing. All right. So there you go. That's the illustration by way of sculpture. And then I'll take that and turn it into uh, this. So, roadblock. Okay. All right, back to ZBrush. What did you guys say? You want the spider or you want the... Paint the spider on the chest. All right, hands, one person, spider. Good work. Hey, thank you. The best way to fix symmetry, smart sim. Hmm. You know, I am probably not the best person to ask on that. I would, uh, I would do a YouTube search because that's how I find everything. It's a layer. Now I just merge these back together and delete the layer. Merge. Yes. Go back down to half. New and draw out a new one. All right, let's do the spider fast. Again, would have been way easier to do this before I uh, posed them, but you know what? It would have gotten all stretched out, so it's all good. doing this Shane style, you guys. Oh, uh, let's turn that on. I don't want my lighting this bright. Let's turn that down a little bit.
Oh, you know what? Um, let's do this. Let's see. All right, I want more geometry where I'm painting this. So, I'm gonna turn on my... Let's do Dynamesh, actually. I don't normally do Dynamesh, but I'm gonna do it here. Okay. Let's turn off the color. Okay. And uh, turn up my resolution like crazy high. And project Dynamesh. Okay. That's better. All right. All right. So this is going to give me a little better results. And before I do anything, I'm going to see if I need to project back to the history. I probably can do the color too. Let's see. Yes. Boom. All right. I didn't get it all, but I got some of it, which is fine. All right. So now let's go in and draw this stuff. Oh, yeah. Woo, that's better. That's pretty. All right, so actually I'm going to get rid of the other one because I can make it much cleaner now. I'm using lazy mouse here so that's how I'm able to get such straight lines Like, uh, if you're wondering how I'm able to paint and not really be phased by it, like, this is what I do. Like, I'm, I sculpt mainly for fun, but, like, I, I paint for a living, you know what I mean? So, if it takes you, uh, a little bit longer to get the hang of it, or it's not as easy, it's, uh, you know, it's just one of those things where practice makes perfect. I got like, I've been drawing since I was a kid, man. And I'm an old dude. I'm an old, old dude. Alright. Um, then it goes under the arm and up. So, under the arm. Let's turn on the arm so I can see what I'm doing. It's gonna have to be beefier too, I can tell already. But that's okay. Maybe under the peck. let you guys see what I'm looking at.
So now the only thing about this is, um, as I'm doing it, I'm thinking it probably is not going to be as stylized as Shane's here, but I'm just, because I'm so inspired by his piece, I'm going to do it this way for now. I'll just paint it differently later. the other one gone. Okay, I think it's down. Wait a minute. Shane has two angles of this. He has two. Let me find it. Um, let's see. Super helpful if there's a back. There is no back. All right, it's okay. I'll take what I can get. This is such a dope sculpt, man. Shane is out of control. What's that last one doing? It's hard to see. Uh, maybe it's doing the same thing. Oh, it's hard to see.
Yeah, so if you guys are enjoying this, come back tonight and join me on my YouTube. Uh, it's listed above. My T artwork without the S. And uh, I'll be working on um, some MF Doom. And MF Doom versus Dr. Doom with uh, my friend Chuck Taylor in the room. He's providing me with some music um, by uh, super producer Dave West. So hip hop tonight and uh, hip hop and sculpting. You know what I mean? Uh, can't get, doesn't get much better than that. So I hope you can join me. Just subscribe to my YouTube so you don't miss the alert. And uh, I'll see you tonight. All right. So I like that. I'm going to make a save point just in case anything happens here that I don't like. Oh, also, if anybody's interested in uh, some um, some classes, I have time in my schedule now. Just DM me. I'm doing like some private tutoring as well. ZBrush stuff, illustration, whatever you need. I figure it's best to do this while I have some time. see it on Shane, but I'm going to give it a little thing in the back here. And I don't know what's going on with the back, so I'm just going to let this kind of just fall off. Let's get back to the thing that I was using as reference. This one.
Uh, what happened to all my stuff? Okay, there it is. Uh, what's the name of my Facebook page? All right, wait a minute. Let me scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. I missed a lot of stuff. Da, da, da. Thanks, Cad, man. Best way to cook some Oh, yeah, that was the thing I didn't know. Super cool. Thank you, Pyro Sculpts. And Tully. And Tully. Yeah, you know what? I um I have used posable symmetry, which is pretty cool too. But I always forget to turn it on. So that's why I don't always use it. So now sculptures posable symmetry. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's the thing. If I'm using Sculptress, I don't think I'll be able to use Posable Symmetry, right? I don't think that works. Facebook page, my T artworks. Everything's my T artworks. But I'm, I'm, my Facebook page is pretty full. So reach out to me on uh, Instagram. Same name. Material shading. Can you give advice? Real control. What kind of control are you looking for? Tell me uh, what you mean. It's rolling. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Stoic. All right. Let's get back to what I was going for. Man, I like the playlist order. This is a nice song to close out with. This is very chill. Ah, uh, damn it. Ah, uh, see? Seriously? Come on. Okay. I got too excited. I think it's gonna mess up again. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Screw this song. Had I not said anything, it would have gone. It would have gone great. See if I can get that other foot in there, other leg, before I gotta get out of here. Oh man. Looks like he's leaping now. Alright, um, W.
So I guess by the next time I come in here for the next stream, I should have the, uh, the review done for that uh, laptop that HP and NVIDIA sent. Um, it's still in the box. I mean, it literally just came, so I'll have more info on it, specs, um, all that good stuff. And uh, I'm looking forward to messing with it. It's supposed to be the power of a desktop with the form factor of like a MacBook Air. So that's gonna be bananas. And it's made for, specifically for 3D uh, designers. So, super excited to play with that. And I'll tell you more about it when I come back. This room lights bothering me. Let's turn that off. Let's turn this down. There you go. If you're joining me late, I'm going to be streaming again tonight on my personal site. Uh, it's Mike T. Art, uh, Mike T. Artwork on YouTube. The YouTube link is at the top. So uh, I hope you can join me. Come back later on, and we can keep it, keep it going, keep it going. Working on some MF Doom tonight on my stream, and I will be picking up more uh, more on uh, Venom uh, at some point. I don't know, maybe I might switch it over do a little more Venom tonight too, I don't know. But uh, yeah, yeah, I hope you guys can join me. All right, that looks short.
It's gonna be more stuff on the shelf. Oh wow, dang, I missed a lot of stuff. All right, um. Yeah, tonight is the Doom, um, the Doom Throne. So, and I started that in uh, Z Modeler. So, if anybody's interested in seeing my workflow in Z Modeler, join me tonight on my personal stream. I'm gonna be doing a lot of Z Modeler. Let me show you guys. Um, let me show you guys what I have so far on the uh, on my MF Doom Two. Let's see. So this is, yeah, this is what I ended up with last Friday, or Thursday. You can see I did a lot of Z Modeler for the, like that's all the mask is Z Modeler, the, um, the, uh, the hat is all Z Modeler, everything, everything. Used a little Sculptures Pro on the arm piece there, the uh, metal arm. And now I am uh, getting the rest of them in the chair, so. Hope you guys can join me for that. And uh, if you were, if you do come tonight and you were in my stream today, let me know. I'll give you a shout. Um, I'll be in Clubhouse also, so uh, I'll send you my info for Clubhouse if you're on that, and uh, and shout me out from the in in here earlier today. Yeah, so a whole lot of stuff. All right, guys. So uh, that's my time for the day. If you uh, if you dug it, come back and join me next time, and I will do some more. Um, you want some more tonight? Join me tonight on my YouTube Mike T Artwork, and uh, and I'll see you guys later. All right, peace, and thanks for everyone who was in the chat. All right, see you guys. Uh, Let's type it in here real quick. Okay, guys. Take care. Ten of slugs. See you tonight, man.